Hey hello friends I am Shubham and in this video I am going to show you how to port the TWRP recovery to your uh, MTK device so let's start the video so first you need these two, two TWRP recoveries one, uh, one is the stock and another one is a port the stock recovery means the original recovery of a device or the recovery which is already ported by someone to your device so this TWRP recovery we can take it as a base and the port recovery means the recovery which you want to port to your device so here I am taking the two TWRP recoveries one is from the Lino K phone note and another one is from the Condor P6 Pro LT for porting the TWRP recovery the kernel version should be same so here is the 3.18.x6 and the chipset should be the 64 bit so here is MT67x6 for uh, both stock and uh, port this is the tool which we are gonna use for unpacking and repacking the record.img files this tool is using for the unpacking and repacking boot.img files also so first copy the record.img from stock folder and paste it to your record resources folder now go back and open the carlu.bat file first we need to unpacking the recovery so choose your recovery partition type R and press enter now type 1 for unpacking the choosing the image now type 1 for unpacking the TWRP recovery and uh, press any to continue so close it now and uh, rename it as a stock now go to your port folder and copy the port recovery.img file so here it is and paste it into recovery resources folder now go back and open the carlu.bat file again type r for recovery choose 1 for recovery a7010 for unpacking the TWR period type 1 and now press any key to continue just minimize it don't close this for cmd file and this is our port TWRP recovery unpacker and this stock so first copy the record.img kernel from the stock and paste it into your uh, port, port TWRP file now go back open the stock RAM disk and copy these files epistap.mt6735 and these files with the meta starting and uh, these two files you entered so copy these six files and uh, paste it into your uh, Port the RAM disk folder. Replace the files in the destination. Yeah, now done with this. Now go back and open the stock folder, RAM disk, etc. And open the record.fs tab with the Notepad. Now go back into the port folder. Open the RAM disk, same etc record at this tab with the notepad plus plus so sometimes the mount points in the record at this tab in the stock and port folders are different so you need to correct them otherwise you will get the error in the TWRP recovery but uh, in my case the all all are uh, perfect so I just skip this step and now go back so now we need to compare the default.prop file of uh, stock and re port recovery so open the uh, default or prop with the notepad plus plus and type here win merge I have the tool for comparing the two files click here on the folder and I choose the uh, stock and the port default or prop files so we are going the record is 1010 and open the default prop files click on open ok ok so here is the comparison of uh, both the stock and the port so we need to edit these amount points so here it is 0 and here it is 1 so we need to correct them and now open that notepad again and correct these values here it is uh, 0 and here it is 1 So you need to give the value same as your default dot prof of a stock record.img. So we need to change the ID to so here it is MRA58K and here is MOP31K. So change it. And 
type here MRE51 key now change the ro.display.ids with version 10 change this incremental to control F replace paste it over here yeah so we successfully replacing it now correct your model number below check here whether any file so we need to correct the flavor cp2900 underscore i00 user so go down so here is the flavor file so just change it with the cp2900 underscore i00 user now change your uh, brand name so here is my cool pad so i change it with the cool pad replace all type cool pad and click on replace all again replace all here is your chipset so type your chipset mine is mt 6735 here also now change your uh, model number so my model number is a cp2900 underscore double zero so change it from overall file and click on replace all replace all you are done so here it is omni cp2900 underscore double zero so change it with the cp2900 underscore double zero in case maybe your uh, port model number is different so change it with your model number yeah now we can done with this now just to press ctrl s or save it yeah so everything is done now go to the carlo.bat file yeah open the uh, carlo.bat file and uh, repack out the uh, image so type 2 and press enter so it starts to repack yeah now down so press in queue and uh, minimize it if any error comes so we can uh, come back to this file and uh, replace it with your name whatever you want So now flash this from your TWRP recovery. Now open the your TWRP recovery or uh, if you don't have TWRP recovery so you can flash it by flash by F. So now click on install button. Now select image. I select out TWRP recovery, choose the partition recovery and uh, just swipe to confirm flash. And then now go to reboot, reboot section and click on the recovery button and here as you can see recovery project 3.1.1 by Mohan Singh we can go into change this names and also one error is coming here the name is with the persist so we can also correct it so now again go to our PC for correcting them as up to now so we are facing some errors so now we are going to correct them so open the ram disk folder and go to the twrp twres folder and open the ported.xml file with the notepad plus plus and uh, search text style is equal to text underscore em because the name is here is a text underscore em and now click on find next and now just change this percent twrp underscore percent version by your name whichever you want so i am replacing it with the twrp 3.1.1 by shubham yjs now save it and uh, close this file now open this splash.xml file with the notepad plus plus again and so go down and here is the header colors and uh, replace it with the header whichever you want so 
so as in my case i am replacing it with the twrp query for uh, cp2900 underscore double zero now save it and close it so now open the ui.xml file with the notepad plus plus and search again one file something with the text color and find next and also change here percent wrp and scope percent version with the name which you type for the uh, header now just save it and uh, close it for a persist error we need to do some changes in the record.epistack file so open the port record.epistack file and uh, compare it with the stock record.epistack file so go to the etc folder and open it with the notepad plus plus and as, as you can see here, here is uh, that file persist but this file is not present in our uh, stock record.fs tab so we are going to remove these lines total line so select this full line and just uh, delete it and now save Go back to your open file and uh, open your that CMD file and now again repack the image type 2 and it's starting repacking so press any key and uh, now close it because uh, now all bugs are fixed so open the table and flash now open the table and record again click on install button select storage install image and uh, select this our recovery cp2900 square double zero version 1 which is the modified recovery now go back and click on reboot and recovery and uh, as you can see here the recovery name is changed to twrp recovery for cp2900 square double zero and here, here also changed and the error also goes so now let move towards our second recovery now we are going to port our second TWRP recovery which is the materialized TWRP recovery version 3.2.1 So copy this recovery and paste it into your uh, recovery resources folder This time we are going very fast because uh, already we are spending lot of time So click on type R Press uh, 2 Unpack image 1 now done with this uh, just to minimize it open the stock folder copy the record.img kernel and paste it into your port recovery go back open the stock again ram disk and copy these files fstab three files with the meta and two files with the uinted maybe your files are different so you can copy as per your uh, stock recovery and paste it into the port recovery ram disk folder now again compare with uh, the recovery.fstep file from the etc so go to the ram disk etc and open that recovery.fstep file with the notepad plus plus open the port recovery.fstep But uh, this time also the mount points are uh, correct, so don't we don't need to do anything. Just close it. Now again, open the bin merge for comparing the files from both stock and port.
to same as I show in the first uh, tubular recovery 14. This is the this one is the simple thing, so might be you can understanding it. So I'm just for uh, fast forwarding these steps. So now everything is done. Just go back and do, uh, open our carlo.bat file and type 2 for uh, repacking the image. Press any key to continue and uh, test this recovery. Now I am going to flash that uh, materialized TWRP recovery. So just click on install image and uh, select that TWRP recovery and uh, choose recovery partition. Just swipe to confirm flash. Now go back, click on the reboot button and uh, then recovery. So it's booted. Uh, you can change that digital phone jigs word as I told in the before uh, the uh, tutorial reporting. So this is the interface of that. So thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe.